These are the item that you'll need to make your masking fluid fine liner using a syringe and a needle. I have masking fluid or sometimes it's called drawing gum. I have, I have masking tape. I have some needles. A pair of pliers. A needle which is 19 gauge but you can use finer ones. A syringe. A nail file which you need and this nail file and a sponge from the kitchen. First thing you do is you get your needle be careful very sharp and you make what I call a little air hole between the 2mm and 3mm uh, markers on your syringe. Just make a little hole there. That's needed so that you can control the flow of the masking fluid by covering the hole accordingly as you use it. Next thing you do you need to cut down the needle with a pair of pliers to about three or four mil from its cap. You cut it, twist it off so you end up like that discard the needle and now you can see it's, it's actually quite flat and we need to open that up so we simply file that down using a nail file This could take a few minutes to do this, so I'll pause the video. Once you've made it opened up like the little holes now cleanly showing, you then smooth it off because you don't want it tearing your paper when you use it. With this finer uh, nail file and now there's nothing catching on there with my finger I can safely use that on paper now yep once you've done that attach it to your syringe and then you have test out the uh, the actual syringe itself for for pressure and it should bounce back which it does and now we can fill this up to about one and a half mil with masking fluid next thing to do is put masking tape on this tiny hole and push your plunger down this is so that masking fluid don't leak out as you fill it up and when you do fill it up only fill it up as far as one and a half mils or two mils even some people call this masking fluid or drawing gum but I've done a mixture of both on this because I found that the this this brand here, PBO, PBO, was blue in colour and um, actually tore my paper when I tried to get it off, even though I used a good quality paper. So I thinned it down with the other masking fluid and 
made made it more of a whitish colour. So now I will fill fill her up to about two mil. Probably just under. That's about right. And then we need to swill off the excess. Put some back. Just use some tissue to wipe off the excess on the side there. Then attach your needle. And then it's ready to use. So I'll use it on black card initially, so you can see it. Obviously it's used on white paper as well, so. So make sure you've got the uh, syringe pointing with the numbers upwards, because that's where the hole is for the air. Bring back your plunger past the hole. If it hasn't already done it, which it has. And then cover the hole initially. And then let the air flow through it. And if it's not coming through, just cover the hole and push your plunger down. And there it goes. Pull it back slightly. And there we have it. And if, you, if it runs, comes out too fast, just cover the hole and you'll be able to control. Saves using a brush and also cleaning a brush after all the gums on it. So we'll let this dry and then we can draw it back. So we've cleaned, we've partly cleaned that chamber now, although there's still some more coming through. Probably didn't cover the hole. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see. Covered the hole now, it's made a vacuum. Now it's, it's empty now. But if this ever blocks up, you just get a fine needle, which I've got the shakes, look, and push it in. You can actually leave the, the uh, sewing needle in the end of this and it will keep you open for future use. Or you can get the discarded sheath that was covering the actual needle before I cut it and push inside some uh, kitchen scarra foam and what that will do is it'll protect the uh, end of your needle that you've made and if you put water in with this and stuff it in there with a uh, a pointy thing <laughs> push that in there it will then, if we take that out, you'll then see that it pushes against the uh, foam and clips into place. So what we can do is put water in this now and it'll expand and protect uh, th this, this needle you've made for future use. If you don't want to go to all this work of making this section you can actually use the end of a pen. I've, I actually popped out the ball bearing from behind with a needle and I just, just pull it out the old the old uh, container there, the old holder bit and you can clean this out with, meth with um, acetone you use on your nails so you can pop that tiny ball bearing out by putting a needle in from behind which has still got ink in really and you just push down and there it's come out the tiny ball bearings there on my thumb that's now 
I need to clean this better because there's all links the pen residue still in there but there's the tiny hole there and then you glue it into the end of your syringe and you do the same thing now you can protect the end of that but with a with a sewing needle stop it blocking and um, it'll do the same and it gives you the same results as what we've done here well, what I'm going to do next is put a white wash on this and then we'll see the uh, the outcome of of what we've done with the gum I had a wash now uh, white wash with gouache so it will uh, stand out better on uh, on this We'll let that dry and then I'll come back and we'll peel it off once it's totally dry. This is now totally dried and I'll rub off where the, the gum was. And it's very sharp, uh, no bleeding. Uh, on the back of this, I used an even finer gauge needle, a 21 gauge, to do these fine lines. Can you see them? And uh, the results will be the same. But all I'll do is I'll do a wash on this. So you can see how fine the lines can be. Sorry, so the, the, the larger the um, gauge is the smaller the hole on the needle. So the lower numbers, like a 14 gauge, would be very big, almost like a matchstick size hole. But uh, yeah, it's another way of putting uh, gum on your, your watercolour paper. Hope you uh, like the video and uh, I will do this wash by the way but I'll come back. This was the back of the uh, sheet that I've just done and these ones I did earlier today with a finer needle and um, this needle was a 21 gauge that I cut down and did the same thing to and uh, as you can see it's already rejecting where I'm putting this paint so the outcome will be just as good then I'll come back once this has dried and peel it off so I'm back this is dried now totally dry and I'll peel off masking tape. You see all these lines are so fine they're about a millimetre, less than a millimetre wide because I use the um, 21 gauge needle uh, whereas what I demonstrated earlier was the 19 gauge size needle. But there you go, nice and sharp. Well thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon.